Hello everyone! Alright, let's talk about Pempo 2.11. New typography tokens are finally here. They are gonna change how you handle text styles forever. But that's not all. We got boosted variants, smoother invitation management, and a cleaner user menu, and also the usual round of UEC performance improvements. So let's dive in. Instead of managing 20 different text styles like headline, caption, body, whatever, you've got one single text style token to rule them all. That's what the new typography token does. It lets you group your font, weight, size, line height, spacing, all of it into a single reusable definition. So instead of tweaking every single detail across multiple styles, you set it up once and you are done, which means consistency and flexibility. This is Penpot first composite token. It's not just a single value like color or spacing. It's a container for multiple properties. Think of it as the star of something massive. Next up, shadow tokens. Yep, composite tokens are becoming a full thing in Penpot. Variants dropped not long ago, and Penpot is already giving them a solid boost. First up, multi-switching. You can now update several variant copies at once. No more clicking through every single one like a Mac person. Just select a bunch, change the property, and boom, you are done. New creation shortcuts. You can spin up variant sets right from the design viewport. No menus, no digging, just pure speed. And my favorite one, drag and drop reordering. You can now move component properties around however you like, put the important ones right at the top, and keep your workspace tidy and stop losing track of stuff. All right, before we wrap this up, there is one more thing you need to hear about. We are developing the MCP server for Pempo, and you can try it right now. MCP server basically opens a direct bridge between Pempot and LLMs. Because of Pempot's declarative design approach, you are not just connecting random APIs. You are giving everyone the ability to interact with a powerful, reliable source of design truth. And the craziest part. There are going to be use cases we can't even imagine yet. You can already install the MCP server locally. It takes, what, 30 seconds? And when it's running, you can do anything. Generate code, analyze layouts, whatever your LLM can handle, Penpot can now play right along. We want to see your experiments, your wild ideas, everything. So push it to its limits and let the Penpot team know what you discover. So yeah, Penpot 2.11. Play around with typography tokens and tell me how you are using them. Drop it in the comments below. And hey, if you found this breakdown helpful and useful, please like the video, subscribe and do all the things the algorithms love. Catch you in the next one. Take care.